This video is part of a series of tutorials on how to format a thesis or other long document with Word 2016. I'll explain how to create and apply a customized style to the body of your writing, as well as how to apply and modify Word's built-in headings. It's important to note that built-in headings must be applied if you intend to incorporate features such as table of contents, a multi-level list, or a table of figures. Built-in headings will also enable the navigation pane, which is a useful editing and navigation tool when working with large documents. First, I'll demonstrate how to set the style for the body of your document. For many types of long document, it's necessary to follow a specific guideline for formatting. In this example, I'll select a paragraph from the body of my document and edit it to appear how I intend my entire document to look. I'll change the font to Arial 11 and add double spacing with an indent on the first line. If you look at the bottom of the menu, you can see what your paragraph is going to look like in the preview pane. Select OK. After editing the paragraph, select it and right click. Under the Styles option, select Create a Style. This is going to be for the whole body of this thesis, so in this case I want to use it again. I'll name it something descriptive so I'll know just by looking at it what type of style it is. I'll name it Thesis Body. The new style will appear in the style bar and styles you regularly use will show up in the style bar. However, if you can't see it, just expand the style panel by clicking on the arrow on the bottom right-hand corner and scroll down until you find the style you're looking for. To apply the new style to the whole document, I'm going to select Control and A. This selects the entire document. Then it's just a matter of selecting the style thesis body in this case. If you were applying a style to a specific part of your document, you would select the text and click on the desired style. The next step is probably the most important in terms of formatting any long document. Applying headings to your paper is essential if you want to create a table of contents, a multi-level list, or have access to advanced features such as the navigation pane. There are nine built-in heading levels. You can see them by expanding the styles panel and scrolling down. Although these are the headings that must be used, they can easily be modified to match your formatting requirements. It's best to work in the order that your headings will appear. For example, I have used Heading 1 as a main heading for sections such as Abstract, Table of Figures, and Acknowledgements. I've used Heading 2 for Chapter Headings and Headings 3 and 4 for Subsections. I'll demonstrate how to change the formatting of a built-in heading. I'll start with Heading 1. First I'll change the font, the spacing, and layout to suit my requirements. Then with the heading selected, I'll expand the Styles menu and locate Heading 1. Click on the down arrow and select Update Heading to match selection. The style for Heading 1 will now take on the new formatting. If you need to make further modifications to any style, simply locate it in the Styles menu, click on the down arrow, and select the Modify option. Make the necessary changes and close out of the dialog box. All instances of the heading will be updated to reflect the changes. As you apply built-in headings to your paper, you'll see them in the navigation pane. This is an important feature in a long document. It allows you to easily navigate through your work and even move sections around without having to use the cut and paste option.